Hi everyone, my name's Scott and welcome to Plain Strange Everything. Today's video is a result of a chance meeting with a lady from Aberdeen about three months ago. I was at Glasgow's Buchanan bus station and I was talking to her and she said she always uses National Express between Scotland and London. I asked her why and she said because the buses are always so comfortable. So I put that away in the back of my mind. In the meantime, I've travelled on a few different operators between Glasgow and London. I've travelled with Flixbus, that fare cost about £13, and I actually managed to sleep for about three or four hours, which is a record. I've also tried Megabus, that was also around £13, and I've also tried the Caledonian Sleeper on a seat. And believe it or not, their starting price for a seat, £70. But that is no reflection on the comfort. It was probably the worst train journey I've done in my life, and I have done a lot of train journeys. So today's uh, journey is with National Express. It cost me £21.50. It will take 8 hours 45 minutes. Let's see if it's really as good as this lady from Aberdeen says, or whether we're just paying for the name. As I sort of hinted as well, I don't sleep well when I'm on the move. So if I get any sleep tonight, that will be good. I could end up looking like a wreck when we arrive at Glasgow tomorrow. There's only two stops on this bus tonight. There's um, Heathrow Terminal 2 and Carlisle. I'll see you when we're in Glasgow. It's 2.20 in the morning, it's raining, and I have no idea where we are. It's a motorway service station somewhere. I'm totally clueless. Well, we've made it back to Glasgow, a very quiet Glasgow being a Sunday morning. What did I think of National Express? Actually, very good. There were two breaks, one just south of Manchester, one just south of Carlisle, both for 30 minutes. You could get off the bus if you wanted to to stretch your legs. I booked seat 2A, which was a window seat at the front of the bus, just so I could film some things for this video. As it turned out, 2A was not your usual seat. I did sit 
in a usual seat, and I found I was able to stretch my legs. With Mega Bus and Flix Bus, the top of my shins would hit the seat in front, and I couldn't stretch my legs. But on National Express, I could. Now, seat 2A. 2A was the window, 2B was the aisle, and in front was a single seat. And that was used for disabled travellers or people with mobility issues. And that was located more or less in front of seat 2B, which means I had loads of leg room. In fact, I had nothing in front of me. What a discovery. So if you're going to be travelling overnight, grab seat 2A on National Express. You can thank me later. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for coming along on this journey. It's been an eye-opener. If I'm going to be traveling overnight on a bus or a train again, it will be National Express because of the extra legroom. I'll see you next time.